Hi guys, welcome to another interactive video session on where I show you how to create extent reporting, how to integrate extent reporting framework to your Selenium N unit test automation framework. So, an extent report is another nice interactive free reporting tool which will allow you to create test execution reports according after a successful or failed test execution run on your test suite so let's see how we can do this okay so you can actually glance to the information of extent reports from extentreports.com and uh, let's open up visual studio first of all you should install the necessary nougat packages from nougat package manager so you can go to tools nougat package manager manage packages for solution first of all you have to install extent reports by Avan stack right so Avan stack is the provider for extent reports here in .NET. so we have to install Avan stacks dot extent reports you can simply go to browse and type extent reports so then it will search and give you the necessary the, the Avan stack extent report module so you have to install this select it select the project you want to install and click install so same way you have to also install uh, web driver web driver dot support nougat packages and also n unit and n unit test adapter because i'm going to this i'm going to run in n unit so and also we had to have chrome web driver package installed so these are the packages that should be there in order for this demo to work so what I'll do is I'll now go to my class. I have created a new class, which is our uh, console application solution. So what I have done here is I have imported the Evan Stack Extent Report necessary modules. These are the modules: Evan Extent Report, Extent Reports dot Reporter, Reporter dot Configuration. These are needed. So then in unit and also Selenium libraries. So I am creating a new extent report uh, object. I'm declaring then a report object from extent report. Extent report HTML, HTML reporter. This is um, another object I'm declaring here. So this I'm using an H, the HTML report fun, uh, report format. Then we have the test extent report test. So I create the web driver from the interface of web driver. Then here we are. I have just created a n unit one time setup. This will run first only initially and uh, not every time when we start a test. And here we are create instantiated extent reporter and configuration. I have created the dark team. You can have a dark team or any other team like the standard team also. So I have created the I want black background to be more like more attractive. So I am taking I'm selecting the dark theme. So then uh, configuration, the name of the document, the report. So these are all given. So you can just simply give your name and the test suit that you are running. Then we instantiate the extend report function. So we attach the report here, the created HTML report object. So the setup, normal setup is every time we had to set up the Google Chrome, maximize the window and go to the relevant URL. So I'm doing a form filling here. So I'm just uh, manipulating the objects and finally there are two test cases here one will pass and one will fail one the second test case I'm forcefully failing because I have given wrong name for the objects first name and last name so it will fail it's a no no not a no element found error so I am just putting a try catch block and I am capturing the no such element exception so then i will be printing the full track trace, uh, track trace so here if the test case is failed fail the test case that is the test we have declared here yeah extend report test so we call test dot fail to fail it and to print the stack trace so same thing has applied here but one test case for asking, the second test case is failing. So let's run this test case, guys. 
go to test explorer run all you can see the test cases are getting executed going to the demo site insurance the first test case is the failed test case now it's failing let's run the second time now the passing test case there you are so it's successful passing and now it will close now I have given the folder as extent reports my folder JOS report so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to C drive slash extent hold on C drive slash extent reports and my extent report is created 755 time so I open it up here we are Look at my past test case, there is no such thing, you can add statements, but the failed one, stack trace is printed. So this is like one test is passing, one test is failing, so this is how you can filter the test cases, you can filter the past test cases, this is how you created an extent report integration with NUnit. So thank you guys, hope you enjoyed the video, if you like this video please put a like in the LinkedIn post, thanks.